you might have seen IoT Smart Light and you might have seen the IoT Smart TV and then a Smart Fan Controller as well. So even a complete smart home too with the IoT devices. So basically all these devices are factory coded and it's connect to the Wi-Fi through a user sitting using a login page. It means that there is no need to hard code every time. But in our case, we hard code the device every time with Wi-Fi settings and password. This process is tedious and you can't launch your device in market with these settings. So in this video, we are going to learn the same thing. That is how you can code your device in a such way that there is no need of hard coding and user can enter the Wi-Fi ID and password every time by himself. So let's get started. In this video, you will learn how to configure Wi-Fi settings in ESP8266 board manually without hard coding again and again. Here, we will use a EAP ROM memory to store Wi-Fi name and password that will allow you to connect your ESP8266 to different SS points without having to hard code and upload new code to the board. So, there are two modes for ESP8266 that is soft AP mode and station mode which will be discussed later. So, by using this EEP ROM feature, you no longer have to hard code your network credential that is SSID and password. Your ESP will automatically join a network or set up a SS point that you can use to configure the network credential. Here is how does process work. So first, when your ESP8266 boot up, it set up in station mode and it try to connect a previously saved network. For example, if you have entered some SSID and password previously, it will try to connect to that. And then, if that process fail, like if it is not able to connect the network, then it sets the ESP to the SS point mode. Now, using a Wi-Fi enabled device like your mobile phone or your computer, uh, you can connect to that particular SS point. Means you can think the ESP is a hot spot and you can connect that hot spot to your mobile phone like and after establishing a connection with that SS point you can go to the default IP address that is 192.168.4.1 to open a web page now this web page will allow you to configure your SSID and password this will be explained later now once the SSID and password is set the ESP reboots and try to connect if it establishes a connection the process is completed otherwise it will be set up as an SS point again so basically all the iot products that are available in market acts like this only initially they all act as a hot spot then you need to connect your phone to that hot spot once the hot spot is connected then go to the particular ip address and then enter the wi-fi credential and then your device will get automatically connected on the next boot so let's do a practical demonstration using a code so this is the sample code that can be used to learn this whole process. So I will be explain this entire code at the end of this video. But before that, let us let's configure it to understand the working. So there is a line called Wi-Fi that soft AP, and here you need to give a particular name to your ESP8266 hotspot. For example, I am giving the name How to Electronics, and then there is another line where you need to enter the password or give a password I am leaving it open because I want my network to be open so once this coding is completed so you can simply upload to the node MCU board so this is our node MCU ESP8266 2LE board so connect this port to your computer that is connect it using micro USB port so once the connection is completed there will be no blinking up LED because the code isn't uploaded currently so just select the board that is node mc 1.0 and select the com port and then directly upload the code so you can see the code is uploaded so once the code will be uploaded you can open your serial monitor so let me open your serial monitor let me reset it so you can see it is just reading the EP ROM SSID and password. So it didn't find any password. So it is waiting for the 
Wi-Fi to connect. So it has created a Wi-Fi connection. So you can see my phone hotspot is showing it. How to electronics that we set earlier. So this is the hotspot that is created by ESP8266. So now go to the Google Chrome and then here enter the IP address that is 192.168.4.1 and then hit enter. So here you will find the list of network that is available. So I have five network available. So I will be connecting it to my office network. So it's FIMO and I am entering the password here also. Remember this password is directly written on ESP8266 board. So once you submit tag, it is on the left side. So once it is submitted, so you can see here on the serial monitor. So how the memory is written. So first it has saved the SSID and then a password. So it has reset the board and entered into the mode boot mode. So now the ESP8266 has connected to the same network and the blinking has started which proves that our ESP8266 is fully working. Let's go to the coding section. So these are the header file that is automatically available if you have installed the ESP8266 board. So EEP ROM is used to store the variable. So we have in defined some of the integers and also we have set two different characters for storing the Wi-Fi ID and password. We have set two strings and under the function declaration we have defined three functions that is test Wi-Fi, launch Wi-Fi and set up AP. So the server is used to connect under the void setup function that is it will initially start to connect. So if it reads the EP ROM memory and after the reading if you find some password then it will get successfully connected. So in case it doesn't find anything stored in the EP ROM memory it will launch the ESP8266 in soft AP mode that is it will turn the hotspot and make the ESP8266 hotspot and then it will wait for some of the network to connect like your, it will wait for your phone to connect or it will wait for your PC to connect. So under the build loop section here you can set up your whatever code you want. For example I am only setting currently the blinking LED code. Here you can set whatever you want to like, like you whatever you want to connect, whatever you want to do, connect the relay or set up the function. Under this function, it will wait for the Wi-Fi to connect and if it is timeout, it will again go on the opening AP mode. Like now the network scan is done and if there is no network found, then it will just again set it to the sub AP connect as you can see here. And then after the web server is created, it will display a web page based on the HTML coding that is done here. Right? Now this HTML coding, you can enter the SSID and password and the node MCU reboots and connect to the Wi-Fi. Thank you for watching.